Hello friends. Welcome back. This is our third part of the publication video. So in this video we are going to cover the next benefit. So publications will allow us to replace the pointed document or the pointed part easily. So here the part 2 is like connected to the part 1 through this point and this point. So one point is uh, published, another point is directly linked. So right, go to this part 2 and I have created a similar part here that is part 3 and there are like two boxes. So I want to make these holes compatible with this part, not with this part. So now I'll hide this part. And secondly, what I'm going to do, I will go here and you can see I have created a publication here. Similarly, I create a publication in this point, uh, this part 3. So I'll go to tools, create a publication of this point 2. Click yes, click OK. And now you have to make sure that the publication name here and the publication name here is the same. Now, next thing you have to do go to this part 2 and go to edit links and now we have here the scroll bus point here you want to change that replace that so you have to replace that go to here replace and here you can cancel that window and click here loaded document in the loaded document you have to select this part 3 click ok so now once you click ok you can update that the second one you can replace and again here cancel that window and click on this loaded element select the part 3 click ok what happened this link is directly created so it won't allow you to change that but when there is a publication it is easily allowed to change replace that pointed document so this is the problem you are getting when you are directly copy that part now click ok here and update this so i'm gonna update this so instead of hide this part i'm gonna hide this part one now you can see this hole is updated because it is created by using the publication this is not because like it is created by directly copy paste so this is the difference between when you do like directly copy paste and using publication so next thing we're gonna learn about when you replace the component how it is gonna be work so i have this component i'll create a new component that is part three and uh, uh, I'll re try to replace that into the assembly contact. So, holes get updated with the new parts, screw bars locations, and now we'll switch the window. I have created a product in that I have one part here with having a screw bosses and another part with having the mating holes. And I want to replace the part one with the part three. I have created a new part. So, here, what I have to do, I have to check here the part one there are like two uh two publications i have to create the publication with the new point with the similar name so i have already created the point one now need to update this point two so go to this part three and you can go here go to publication the point two is not connected so i want to connect with this point so click ok here yes okay now this is the point two. The next thing here I want to change. Uh, go to this product. Right click here. Go to this component, and you have to replace component. Replace component. Cancel that window. And here you have to select the loaded document. In the loaded document, you have to select this part three. Click OK. Now click OK, and update the link here. So in this way, you can update or replace the part and you also update the meeting part with respect to that. Mm -hmm. We have the same publication names with the new part, in the new part. These are all benefits we are getting by using the publications. 
that's all for this video if you like my videos please do share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching